Warning: Hydrochloric acid is corrosive. It can cause lots of injuries, so please don't forget to use gloves and work at the film hood. Thanks. Salute, my dear chemists, and welcome back to Acantharx channel. Among hundreds of YouTube videos of making hydrochloric acid, everyone uses a reaction between concentrated sulfuric acid and table salt. That's classical and time-tested method, but I want to explore the science. Because of it, let me show you how to make hydrochloric acid by equilibrium reaction between boric acid and table salt. Yeah, all of them could be easily obtained in drugstore and grocery. For today's experiment, I put in water 15 grams of boric acid and 7.1 grams of table salt, then grind it into fine powder. Further, I put the whole stuff into 100 ml flask and put it onto a sand bath. Now construct a simple distillation setup. Yeah, I have poured around 10 ml of distilled water into a receiver vessel, due to legal regulation in my country. But if you need a highly concentrated acid, just ignore that step. Thereafter, I have sealed a construction with a thermometer and filled my fan bath. Now turn on the hot plate and wait until hydrochloric acid starts to elicit. Frankly said, it's better to use a burner to prompt the reaction, but I can't because of safety protocol in organic lab. Reaction starts at about 250 degrees C. To speed up the distillation process, I have covered a left part of construction via aluminum foil. Yay! Temperature starts rising in a gradual way. Also, three-way adapter is sweating now. The first drop is obtained in 180 degrees C. Of course, it's vapor temperature. So, what happened in our reaction? Generally, we use a sodium tetraborate for hydrochloric acid titration by varying pH during boric acid formation, but that process could be reversed in solid state reaction conditions. Reaction presented on your screen is going right until hydrogen chloride solvated in water could leave the reaction space, in my case during distillation process. You are right. The second product of this reaction is sodium tetraborate. I promise that we'll exactly extract it from melt. And our reaction flask at complete safety. Toward the end of procedure, I decided to help a little bit using heat gun. Reaction stops when the temperature starts to decrease. Turn off the hot plate and let it cool down. Ok, we successfully made about 15% hydrochloric acid. Let's go to test if it is actually hydrogen chloride. Add a few drops to solution of silver nitrate made in previous video. Nice. Curl-like precipitate could be seen. Next, let's go to add a small piece of magnesium tape, and it's of course bubbling in a pretty vigorous way. Oh, 
flask becomes a little bit hot. And finally I have tested its acidity using indicate pepper. This results in pH about 2.0. Additionally you can see that acid evaporating during the reaction process is concentrated. Just look at the fumes of ammonium chloride. Now let's go to crystallize our sodium tetraborate. For doing it I have just boiling stuff in water with stirring until the whole mess will completely dissolve. I have spent around 100 ml of water to do it. So now just filter it off through a cotton ball and add 15 ml of ethanol to provide crystallization of pure tetraborate. Because it's insoluble in it. Then put the flask into fridge overnight. On the next day, fine crystals of sodium tetraborate are crystallized out. Now just filter it off on a glass filter and wash a couple of times with isopropanol. While salt is drying under airflow, I decided to test the pH of it and it's obviously not a boric acid, with pH about 8.0. Awesome! I have collected about 5.5 grams of pretty pure tetraborate and its white powder around 61% yield. To sum up, Today I have shown you how to make hydrochloric acid from table salt and boric acid under convenient conditions. Moreover, we have managed to extract sodium tetraborate from wastes. So if you enjoyed this video, put likes, leave comments and subscribe to Akansarek's channel. See you up!